Welcome back for some more beauty product chat. If you didn't catch my last video, it was a Mercedes shops that was, the first half was beauty products from Credo, Derm Store, Sephora, and then the second half of the video, or maybe even more, was prenatal postpartum baby products from Pharmaca and Earth Mama Organics. So if you wanna see that, I will of course have it linked below. And I said in that video that I, I felt like I wanted to separate out the products that I have been shopping, hence Mercedes Shops, and the products that I've been sent as a beauty blogger here at L'Amour et La Musique. Some people are really curious in seeing what gets sent to bloggers. Some people don't wanna see it, which is totally fine. I actually end up showing a fair amount of this stuff, but in very disparate ways. I'll show it on Instagram stories, or I'll unbox it, or I'll test one thing, or I'll mention one thing in a favorites video, but I thought that this would be just sort of a nice organizing rubric to show you what's been accumulating. So doing this video also gives me an opportunity to let you know that after four plus years, Coming up on five years of making videos on YouTube, I have finally established a professional mailing address for Lamar. I posted about this on Patreon. I didn't actually post the address, which I'm not going to do, but I did wanna get the word out that if you are a brand or a viewer or anyone that's been wanting to send products to Lamar, I now have a way to receive them much more easily. So if you would like that, please send me an email, l'amour et la musique at gmail.com and I am happy to send it to you. I, I've just had to turn down so many really beautiful and heartfelt requests from viewers and brands uh, because of not having a professional address. The other thing I wanna say is that I am so fortunate to receive a lot of products to test and review and it is far more than any person or household could ever get through and I push a lot of products onto Kave. What ends up happening is if I test something or if I get duplicates of things, I end up setting them aside and giving them away to patrons on Patreon. I usually do it as first come first serve. I keep track of who has received things. I package it up, incur the shipping cost and mail it to you. Bloggers just really do end up receiving an insane amount of product, which is amazing and overwhelming. And I'm really genuinely happy to spread the love to people. So I just wanted you to be aware that that's another perk of being on Patreon if you haven't already made the jump over there for the content and you would like the opportunity to get products. That's also part of the deal over there. First thing I'll mention, I am testing Stark's Astral Orbital Eye Serum. I believe that Jess released this initially as a limited edition product. I believe she is now considering making this a permanent part of the Stark skincare collection. As you can see, it's in rollerball form. The sort of main ingredients are listed as evergreen, green coffee, baobab, and chia. It has a very woodsy, earthy, rooted, grounded scent. I have been testing it I don't know, on and off for a week or two. I quite enjoy it. I do love a rollerball eye product. It's a little heavy for me to use in the morning, but it could be because the rollerball disperses quite a bit of product. Jess and I have actually exchanged messages about this. Compared to the Lil Fox Kalahari eye serum, which I'm also still testing and really liking, it was in my last favorites video, this deposits probably twice as much oil as the Lil Fox Rollerball does. I may experiment with just putting some on my finger and then applying, although that sort of defeats the purpose of the nice cooling Rollerball. So we'll see. So far the formula is great. I mean, I love Stark products. It's one of my favorite brands. I recommend them to everybody. And I think people are always like pretty universally satisfied with Jess's products. You know, for as much as we talk about eye serums kind of being neither here nor there, I think people at least psychologically <laughs> feel better using an eye specific product, at least I know I do. Okay, why don't I mention this? Because I'm not sure I've even Instagrammed it, I just haven't had the time. I mentioned it in passing in my favorites video. And I'm mentioning it here because I believe it's still available and I hope it's still available by the time this video goes live. But it is the October Detox Box featuring 
Inner Sense, which is a brand I know that we all have a lot of experience with, know and love at this point. So this is actually quite similar to a box that Beauty Heroes has done before. Let me show you, God, I'm making a huge mess. You get the Pure Inspiration Conditioner, Pure Harmony Hair Bath, Hydrating Hair Mask, which was actually in my favorites video, favorite product of mine, Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner, and another favorite product of mine, the Harmonic Healing Hair Oil, which I've been using on the ends of my hair for many, many months now. If this is still available, I'll link it down below for you. The nice thing about the Detox Market monthly subscription box is that you can just buy them as one-offs. Okay, I received a nice little box from Juice Beauty. They decided to send me their three shades of the Phyto Pigments Brow Envy Gel, as well as their Liquid Line and Define. So the eye pigment gel comes in light medium, medium, and medium dark. So the medium dark one, I do not have. It's actually in my makeup bag upstairs. That's the one I've been testing and using. Here is the medium. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very small, very reminiscent of a Glossier Boy Brow type of product. Um, even has a very similar type of wand. So I can only speak to the medium brown, which is the one that I've been testing, or the medium dark, sorry. It's a very it's thick, frosting-like formula. It's The medium dark, anyway, is very pigmented. It says that these are conditioning with ingredients like vitamin E, organic jojoba, cocoa butter, shea butter, plant waxes. I'm happy to report I haven't experienced any flaking, which was sort of an ongoing issue that I had with Glossier Boy Brow, but it took me a really long time to realize that that's what was going on. It's a little bit less flexible than Boy Brow, and it's just a little bit of a different consistency. So. I have been liking it for days when I just wanna do a quick brow. Keep in mind that if you have like bare patches to fill in, I do on this brow, or you wanna do any kind of real shaping, you're still going to need a pencil or an angled brush with a powder. But I have been really enjoying trying this. And then I have also tried the Phyto Pigments Line and Define Liner. This reminds me a lot of a product I used to use before I fell in love with the Surat Autographique eyeliner pen, which is what I use now. This reminds me of the Zuzu Lux liquid eyeliner, which was my ride or die many years ago, early on in L'Amour. What I would say is, if you're looking for an, a liquid liner in an eco brand, this is a great option. It's more advanced, so I don't think it's super foolproof if you're not already comfortable doing a liquid liner. The tip is quite stiff. I think it actually is a felt tip, not a brush tip. I personally think brush tips are easier to use. And if you're a more experienced liquid liner, you would be able to work with this. It does get quite pigmented, although I find that I need to go in and keep applying product. The wear time seems pretty good, not irritating at all. So if you're someone, again, that really wants to buy your products from an eco brand, I do think that this is a really nice option for a high quality pigmented liquid liner. This next set of products, I sh definitely showed on Instagram stories. I think I did first impressions of everything. One of the products was in my most recent favorites video and it's the Blissoma Phototonic SPF 25. So I already talked about this product specifically. This is what the packaging looks like in my favorites video if you'd like to go hear about that. Julie from Blissoma, who is such a sweetheart, um, she and I have been emailing, and when she found out I was pregnant and I told her my skin was more sensitive, she wanted to send me her sensitive skin products to try. So Blissoma does a whole sensitive skin range. My only experience with Blissoma was many years ago I had tried the Mild Rice Cleanser and one of the toners. It wasn't that this is the Peaceful Purity Tonique. I had tried another one that she does. Yeah, ultra sensitive range. So it's everything in this yellow packaging. I was sent the Free Rejuvenating Herbal Gel Cleanser. Comes in this nice pump dispenser. The Peaceful Purity Tonique. This product I thought was really, really interesting. It's called the Facial Solar Repair Anti-Aging Serum. This is the Sensitive Skin Soothing Complex, and this is the Lavish Loving Recovery Beta Glucan Mask. 
which I have not tried. This is the one thing I haven't tried yet. The herbal gel cleanser has made it into my shower as a second cleanse if I'm doing my second cleanse in the shower, which sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I'm alternating it as a second cleanse with Stark Eclipse, liking it. The Peaceful Purity Tonique, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this one. I do not love the scent. It doesn't feel as nourishing, I guess, as I would like a toner to feel. However, the cleanser I do find to be super, super gentle. This, not as much, I guess, on me for some reason, or it could just be like my, my the way my pregnancy nose is detecting scents. So I'm still kind of playing around with this one. I really like both of these. The facial solar repair would be a step before putting on the phototonic. So you would cleanse if you cleanse in the morning, tone, eye product, serum, SPF, or you could even do serum, additional moisturizer, SPF, if just the these two is not moisturizing enough. The moisturizer is really, really soothing, and I, I really like it. I mean, I don't use a lot of like water-based creams. Relatively unscented. I find it's kind of like just a nice little cotton blanket for the skin if that makes sense it's not super heavy but it it really does impart like nice hydration the facial solar repair serum is a tinted product looks like that you can't really detect a tint on the skin but it's a watery type of serum i just like the concept of it it has whole pomegranate extract which I've already talked about how my skin loves everything pomegranate related, pomegranate seed oil, pomegranate extract. Um, it also has coenzyme Q10, rebus, acai, fruit seed cells, and it's very weightless. So it's a great product to layer. Um, it has a nice ingredient list. I think that this is a very unique, wonderful morning type of serum. Having a really lightweight, protective, nutritious serum like that I think is really nice. I have a bunch of masks in the queue to start testing, which I'm excited about. I just haven't been masking my skin that much since being pregnant. The beta glucans come from oat kernels and two medicinal mushrooms. So it's supposed to combat inflammation, kupaku butter for hydration. So I might do this as a multi-mask sort of deal. And I would do this as a second mask. I would do a more sort of clarifying drawing mask and then I would follow this up as a second mask or even multi-mask directly on the face, like doing the more clarifying around my nose and chin and this maybe more on my cheeks and jaw, something like that. So I received a lovely package from Allison at Activist. Some of the formulas I think have been slightly tweaked. She has developed this really straightforward method, four-step method for how to use her products. You can cleanse with her cleansing balm or oil. She has a powdered vitamin C product, which is a much better deal than like, for example, the True Botanicals vitamin C powder. She has her signature serum, which is the Hyaluronic Serum. I've only ever tried it in the custom formulation and I absolutely love it. It's like right up there with Provise Nutrify 1 to 6 for me and her Precious Oils Serum, which is sort of the moisture step. I am going to be doing a little collaboration with Allison where I show you these products, demo them, and we're going to be doing a really exciting giveaway. I also wanted to mention, I'm not sure how many of you have heard of this new online shopping platform. It's called Talk Shop Live. If you've ever heard of it, let me know in the comments. It's something I'm just learning about, but Allison from Activist is sort of testing out the platform and I might test it out, out with her. It is essentially a live streaming platform where you set up a time to demo products, talk about products, and sell products. It's kind of like an online QVC from what I can tell. It, it is cool and interactive. Um, I feel like it's meshing a bunch of different potentialities and ways for people to engage, learn about products, and buy them. So Allison and I are playing around with the idea of doing a couple videos on Talk Shop Live where you would be able to come on live I've been doing a lot of live streams through Patreon and I absolutely love doing them. And then it makes it really easy to buy the products directly from that platform. And I think we'll be doing a discount on some of the products and on her travel set. So I just kind of wanted to let you know that that's something coming up. Time for a hair readjustment before we <laughs> finish out this video. Two more things to tell you about, and they're both exceptionally beautiful. This is another set of products that I believe I unboxed and did first impressions, quick first impressions of on Instagram 
and it's from the super, super beautiful brand Virid Organic Botanicals. She's just gone through a big rebrand. I don't know how many of you were very familiar with her products or product packaging before. She's been in the eco beauty space for a really long time, but spent, I believe the last year, maybe even two reformulating and creating all new branding and design and packaging. And it's really quite something um, to behold. This is the Orange Sauvage Luxury Body Oil, which I believe is a brand new product. I have the Signature Body Oil, which unfortunately I haven't really been able to use since being pregnant. The The scents have, have sort of been a little off to me, but I've been saving it in the queue to use when I I'm no longer pregnant, which feels like that day will never come, but I know it's coming. This is the Vitality Face Treatment Oil, which is, I believe, very similar or just a, a slight deviation from her anti-aging face oil, which I went through an entire bottle of, I think, last year and loved. The scent of these products is insane. These are two new products, the Divinité Eau de Parfum. Virid really has a gift with scents. These are no exception. I've been testing this one. It's kind of like a perfect fall spicy citrus. How beautiful is the packaging? It is just, ah, oh, so beautiful. And this is, I think, potentially like my favorite product in this little bundle of products and it's her sacred love oil it's a very unique product it comes in rollerball form i have been using this pretty much as a perfume it can be used all over your body particularly thinking about erogenous zones for libido stimulation but it really just smells quite beautiful at first it reminded me a little bit of the Mahalo Atar Ona Ona perfume. I don't know how many of you remember that. Marina did a limited edition release of that when the Red My Lips campaign was first going on two years ago. Is that how long it's been? This reminds me a bit of that, but there's a stronger note of honey to me. So good. I don't, it's really something you kind of just have to smell or test or sample or just buy and if you like deep, earthy, kind of sweet, it's a little bit like rose, but spicy, but honey. I get a lot of honey for some reason with it. Um, but I think everyone's nose might pick up something different with it. In love with this product. And um, all of them are actually safe for pregnancy. I asked Virid because some essential oils can be contraindicated during pregnancy. She told me that all of hers are safe for pregnancy and breastfeeding. Okay, now we're gonna end with something special. I've been holding off on telling you about this and there's more to come on this as well. Kind of how there's more to come with the activist products. There's more to come with this as well. It's special for me to announce because anyone that has been watching La More La Musique since the olden days, like when I was making videos on my iPhone in 2014, will probably remember that I was obsessed with this company called Bija Body, particularly the Daily Body Serum and this spicy tea that they did. I think it was called like the, I don't even remember what the tea was called. It was a beautiful company. I ordered the products religiously for what felt like years and then they went out of business and I was devastated. I remember talking about how devastated I was that they were going out of business. I actually bought a whole bunch of the teas like in bulk, you know, drank it till the bitter end. I used the body serum all up. So you can imagine my elation when a longtime viewer of mine who remembered my Bija body obsession sent me an Instagram DM last month or even two months ago at this point and said that Melissa, the person behind Bija Body, had started a new beauty company called Skin and Sky Beauty. Immediately I go over and start like reading the blog and, and looking at her socials. And indeed, Melissa Piccoli Phillips has started a new beauty company, Skin and Sky Intelligent Beauty Formulas. They are going to be having teas as well. I have been in contact with Melissa and am so excited to share her new products with L'Amour and like let you guys know about them. So I have been testing her Brilliant Daily Body Serum and her Cellular Luminosity Body Cream. The scent is pretty much identical to what the Daily Body Serum used to be. The products are 
now going to be packaged in these really beautiful black glass bottles. This reminds me a lot of Skin and Bones. I don't know how many people remember that brand, which I was really ambivalent about. Like something I felt really drawn to those products, but at the same time didn't. So Bija Body and now Skin and Sky, I am certainly not ambivalent about. But this is sort of what the full size packaging is gonna look like. She's going to be doing teas. I just got a sample of the Celestial Calm Beauty Tea. There's going to be little sample sizes. I'm bringing this up because the company is in the process of launching. She has little sample kits that she's going to be offering. So that's kind of all I wanted to say about it for now, but I wanted to put it on your radar that there's going to be some upcoming giveaways and promotions. Definitely we'll be talking about it on Instagram. I tend to do most giveaways on Instagram, but it might be here on YouTube as well. On Instagram, I'm just at Lamori La Musique. So please stay tuned. I'm so happy that she's back in the beauty space doing beautiful, beautiful work. Just really, really excited to share about Skin and Sky with the Lamore community. There will be much more to come on that front. So we successfully got through everything. I hope that you got your beauty product fix from this video if you didn't get it from my last one. I have a whole list of videos that I wanna get done before I go on a little bit of baby leave starting in mid-November. I'll definitely be doing, it's gonna be like a coffee talk or hot chocolate talk in my case kind of video, letting you know about my schedule with uploading and where you can find me and what Patreon is gonna look like and how I'm sort of preparing to take baby leave and continue doing L'Amour. So I just kinda wanted to preliminarily put that on your radar. I'm gonna try and get as much out and done as I can in the next month or so. Thank you as always for watching. I will have everything listed down below where you can buy it, all the details that you need. The description box is always full of lots of useful information and links. I would love to hear from you in the comments, even if it's just to say hi and let me know that you're watching. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in my next video soon. Bye.